So I am on the process of trying to make all these digital products, kind of create like a store and everything. However, I am also realizing that I really might need to hire a VA. So today I'm gonna just sit down and review my calendar. Like today, I'll show you a little clip of it here. Let me know in the comments if you want like a really high def like recording of this, but I do my time blocks with a gray calendar and I name it literally time blocks. And then I just layer like the other calendars of actual events and things that I need to do. Those are in color and those stand out to me more. I don't really like it when people have like their whole calendar taken up with a million things because when I am looking at these time blocks, I just want to be able to see them when I'm planning my week. And then I want the liberty to literally come over here and turn them off. So then my calendar just looks like this and it's a lot more calming to look at my calendar like this versus like the whole thing taken up. So um, I'm looking at it now and <clears throat> I'm in my like create time block right here. I only have um, maybe like another two hours right now to get everything done that I wanna get done. And like I was saying, I'm trying to um, open up my digital product shop, but then at the same time, we're getting into wedding season and engagement season. So I'm trying to also respond and to a lot of wedding inquiries and people, the ceilings are still not done, <laughs> but we are just going to live with the faux raptors for a little bit. A big reason why I am also on this digital product journey as a service-based creative and business owner, and you might be in these same shoes where we're just, we're just tired, we're overworked, we're sick. I had to go to um, urgent care. Like I've had, a, I had a cough for like the past two months and I just was like, you know what? I need to figure out what's going on with my health. They said I had pneumonia. So, just so many things are on our plate and it all boils down to like, how can we diversify our income so that we're not hustling so hard? I feel like I've been in this like perpetual state of like hustle for far too long. I know a lot of people are getting sick right now over the summer. A lot of people have been sick. And if you're working so hard that you can't even get a break to rest, like your lifestyle doesn't allow for you to just lay down when your body is telling you to. Um, oftentimes I'm, my body's yelling at me to lay down when I'm dancing out in like a hundred degrees of heat or I have a toddler that's like, mommy, mommy, mommy in the afternoon and trying to manage her um, energy levels and what she needs. It, the picture I'm trying to paint here is the fact that we are all very overworked and my experience is just like, this is why I'm trying to make this massive shift in my life and business right now to create a calm business. Um, and the tools and things that I have put into place so far that have really helped that is getting myself digitally organized and a lot of people are running online businesses and everything all their assets are digital too so so this morning i'm going to make this coffee here import a bunch of footage into my notion database that i use for my projects create um, a checklist of my post-production that i need to do for that i'm going to put in a couple deadlines into my google calendar yeah i'll give you a mini tour as well of how i do more of my google calendar coffee to cool off a little bit. Just going through some of the footage from the content shoot we did yesterday. The planner said it was sort of like an, At an Italian Dolce Vita style shoot and they wanted to really highlight the essence of lemon and uh, blues and a very summery color palette and theme of the entire aesthetic of the shoot. Anytime I go to a shoot, whether it's for an actual real wedding or for like a styled shoot, I always love to go with the intention of a more holistic approach. So that's one tip of advice I always give other videographers for their business is to think of your wedding days as truly a marketing opportunity. Don't just go with the intention of being hired by the couple because truly your repeat clients are going to be your referrals from your other photographers and then for referrals from planners and other vendors. Let me go check on my coffee and I will be right back. Yes, I haven't been having dairy while I've been sick. So I do miss my, you know, high fat like <laughs> type of drink. 
We're also expecting a thunderstorm right now, so I'm actually gonna plug in this little mic. For starters, I wanted to just show my Google Calendar and how I like to organize my week and how I basically like to kind of organize all my different categories. I always have my tasks on um, and then what I want to do for like my content calendar for family, clients and weddings along with HoneyBook which is my CRM so all of that's onto one. Um, anything with meetings is like yellow and it stands out more and then I have a meeting tonight um, with a couple at 4 15 so I always love for those to stand out and be like yellow to me just stands out so time blocking is its own separate calendar I have time blocks as gray that is just a way for me to kind of keep the differentiation factor of something that is truly a plan versus just a time block. Yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff over into my Notion project just so that I have it all there um, because eventually this is all gonna get pushed back and then it's gonna be like a few months from now and I'm gonna forget maybe the exact date that we did this shoot. So I wanted to show now how I like to move everything from just doing a shoot one day, whether it be a styled shoot or a wedding and how I like to digitally organize that into Notion. I am just gonna move all of this information, like the, the vendors and like the vision and everything over into my Notion Projects Hub. This template is gonna be one of the templates that will be in my Notion Business Hub when it goes for sale. I want to make this a very simple and beginner friendly notion business hub that for someone who is just getting started in notion and just doesn't want too many formulas too many cross-linking pages and templates it can just get very um, overwhelming and so as you can see this is very simple this right here is what's called a database so i am just going to start a new project so let's do that and then we open it. This one right here is the template that I use anytime I have like a wedding client or anything like that. So I will just pick and choose what I what elements of this I want to keep because since it wasn't a real wedding, I don't really need to have all of these elements really. This is everything that comes with it. So you can see this is everything you need. There's nothing else past that. It's pretty simple but it can still look overwhelming. So let me just show you the client portal up here. This is a page that's like in a completely other container. So there's different depths of Notion. There's like, you've got like your hub, the bigger picture, and then think of inception. You can go deeper and like deeper and deeper and deeper. And that's where Notion can get overwhelming for some people. But what you're gonna get from me is mostly a very um, surface level with a couple little formulas here and there. I really don't like to have, to have too much depth to it because then the user experience is too personalized to me and it's not something that other people can, like yourself, uh, grasp and see everything that's happening. Resources, I'll put like the rough timeline of the wedding day, the vendor list. I'm actually going to just delete this and I want to take these and copy them over. So the only other thing I'm going to do is, let's see, I don't need this. Editing. I have this in place when I want to outsource the edit. I have a whole other video on this. But day one is transfer and organize everything. Basically what I did already off camera, I like took all my cards. Everyone has a different, you know, system of it, but this is just how I like to transfer everything and then set up my Final Cut Pro library. I have a other video, so you can see that, but it's all built on the principle of the Parkinson's law that a task will take as long as the allotted time that you give it. So if you only allot your time day, one day to do all of your like organization of your clips and favoriting things and calling, then if you stay focused, you can do it. Like in all of my editing days are allocating just four hours, four, maybe five hours of dedicated time to editing. So what I want to do here, editing, I'm actually just going to put in edits here and I'm going to just copy them here. And I actually would love to turn all of these into a to-do, I want to do a, oh, to-do list. So yeah, I want to 
turn these into a to-do list. So I'm going to do a main highlight video, um, bridal fashion. I really liked some of the content that I got of like the, the differentiation of like what I got on my phone versus what a cinema um, budget and what a cinema experience is going to be. Decor, I definitely want to have like the lemon and Italian. Yes, this is close to it. Okay. Okay, so what is the... Anyway, so I just wanted to do some more research on this like lemon in Italian blue, um, blue and white paisley. So I really want to show that off with the um, tablescapes. I want to show off the misting, this And by the way, I'm gonna um, plan to edit this. So this is gonna be a task and then edit Dolce. So that's pretty much how I work in Notion and Google Calendar. I'm kind of like, all right, I'm gonna take what I have here, uh, archive it and put it into Notion for more of a organized view and like this checklist and a place to always come back to it in an organized database. And then I am going to like and, and then if I want to like actually designate the schedule of when I want to post or work on different aspects of it, then I'm going to like put that over here. So that is how I use both of those things together. <laughs> Again, too, like honestly this, I don't even need all this. I don't even need all of this. Premiere and sharing checklist. This comes in it too. It's a drop down where you can get inspiration of like the whole workflow of like everything that you want to do for distribution of your content. As far as this, um, I may or may not go through that whole process if I have time, but these are like the main content things. Um, and this is the main workflow that I think I really want to do. I might make this first. Um, I may make this because these are like teasers to the full thing. Educational reel, kind of what I was saying in this video, like um, getting content for others at a wedding, holistic approach to wedding and live event videography. This is just another idea. And I may not even do all of these, but um, I like to jot out my ideas anyway. Um, about the two hour mark and I'm about to do some other stuff. And also too, I have found that like, as I have been able to go into Notion and learn Notion and embrace it for my business, there's so many like virtual assistants and people who know it and can help you once you get organized. But like the main step is getting organized first or then you can never translate this information as a CEO and like as a business owner to hiring help. If you ever want to scale and free up your energy and like free up your, your workload, like you really have to get organized to be able to do that. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and you want more videos on this. Until the next video, take care, bye.